Good morning. Now that the um, rain has stopped falling, I'm just going to do a quick video with the winner of the competition, Martin. And can you show us both sides of that bird box? There you go. And as you can see, Martin is full of glee. Is that okay for you, Martin? Yes, it's beautiful, thank you. Good, good, good. Martin and his wife, Helen, who doesn't want to appear on the video, have drove all the way from Leicester. And they might as well include this as part of a pond visit. So thank you very much for coming, Martin. Thank you very much. It'd be nice to uh, see your pond. Good. Steve's workshop, where all things happen. Sometimes, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. A uh, guy called George got in touch with me and asked about how I go about painting a koi box. Um, I went on to Google and found this image and just basically printed it out, resized it so it would fit on the side of the bird box. I then got into Cat's paint box. And just painted it. I did get an out O level, but that was um, back in the days of black and white, 1979. Seems to have paid off a little bit. Quite simple to do. Can be a little bit fiddly in areas, and uh, the detailing on the fins is done with an indelible marker. So fine point marker, something like this, permanent, just to get the detail. Make sure you've got some uh, really small brushes as well. These are very, very fine. But in the meantime, I hope that helps you, George. Thank you. Just another little segment. So I measured across the pond, which is about 1.8 metres, 6 foot. And I bought myself two pieces of this. This is uh, 2.4 metre, 150mm by 47mm. Now my little plan is to draw a curve on it. A very fine curve. Put a jigsaw through it. So you end up with this. So you have now two pieces of the curve that have been uh, ripped off and then you do this and take the cut pieces from the top put them underneath and the next stage of the job will be to make two pieces because that's one that needs joining together that's the other one that needs ripping, ripping up with a jigsaw those people that know I used to be uh, an engineer for Coca-Cola before I joined the ambulance service and I'm forever building things. This may well be a bridge because it is a bridge shape. My granddaughters will be fascinated walking over a bridge over the pond. This is probably going to be heavier than my car. Ah, but let's just do it anyway. We're in lockdown. To be continued. So the next bit is then you take each section, glue it, dowel pin it and then fill the gap with a mixture of wood glue and sawdust. This side is still to be done. There's my dowel, there's my dowel. So as you can see, whoa, hopefully you can see, we're just getting that nice bridge curve. So this will be uh, gluing for about 12 hours and then I shall do the same with that section. And then you get to this position. Now that to me looks pretty bridge shaped. Uh, if there's any carpenter who was looking on he's probably throwing himself all over the floor in laughter. But I think that's pretty good. So the next job is to uh, wait for this glue to dry and then it's got to be all sanded down and then I shall be using some uh, bracing pieces just to get the width. And then after that 
usual me, I'll just make it up as I go along. So stay tuned for more Adventures with Bridges.